Hey pretty gang, it is Jen and I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about a question that I get often. Um, a lot of times I get questions about people stealing content, people um, downloading your content, sharing your content, and what can you do? Now there are a few things that you can do, but I want to be honest with you and I don't want to hold any punches and I don't want to hold anything back from you. The truth of it is, is that if somebody wants to steal your content, that is exactly what they're going to do. If somebody wants to share your content, that is exactly what to do. I would love to tell you that people are not going to share your content, people are going to be as honest as possible, but the truth of it is when we put our content out, we're putting it out with the idea that we hope nobody takes it, right? And honestly, and we've probably heard this before, is that the best form of flattery is somebody copying you. Now, of course, when it comes to intellectual property, when it comes to digital content, when it comes to somebody blatantly ripping you off, there are a few things that you can do. You can, one, before they even do that, when you do sell your content or share your content, you can't put a disclaimer that this is for personal use, it's not to be redistributed, it's not to be copied, things like that. And you can also put on there, there is legal jargon that you can not put letting people know that you will or can um, seek legal action against them if you do find out that they're sharing and or copying your content, right? The second thing that you can do is you can get your content copyrighted. Um, copyrighted is going to mean that People shouldn't be stealing your content because legally it belongs to you. Now, the thing about getting your content copyrighted is the truth of it is, is that copywriting can be a little bit expensive. And I know some of us are doing um, maybe more smaller things, like maybe a quick PDF, maybe a, you know, quick course or something like that. And we may not want to invest that kind of money to copyright your product but that is an option you can copyright your product and the third thing that you could do which is a little bit of what i already said is that you can seek legal action towards somebody that steals and or shares your content if that is what you want to do so i just want to come in and tell you guys that because i know that when we are selling our digital products when we are selling our um online content we want to protect it as much as possible again like i said you can do this disclaimer you can um, seek legal action and you can copyright your content. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. And you guys, whenever you get a chance, make sure you guys are, one, subscribing to the channel, two, grabbing one of my courses, either the Braid Hair for Cash and or the YouTube course. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, you guys.